YouTube. How's it going guys? Today, let's talk about planning. I've done quite a few pictures where I didn't plan anything out at all. I just jumped right in, started with the painting or the drawing or whatever, and most of those are tucked away. <laughs> I don't really care about them anymore. Like, you know, you, you know that sense where you almost get tired of looking at your art or a piece of art because you're like, eh, yeah, like I don't, I don't feel anything for this. But then there are the things that you spend a lot of time on and you planned it out and you looked at a whole bunch of different reference photos and you like pieced them together and you had to think a lot about like how you were going to do the composition and stuff. The things that I did that for, I actually have those up on my wall. <laughs> those are the things that I keep around because I spent so much time planning it out that they just mean more. And you can totally tell. You can totally see, looking at a piece, how much time went into the planning. So that's something that a person should try to work on because like you want to get to the thing that is the most fun but the process or the part of the process that is really going to show in your work is the part that you don't see the planning process for this one I or for this portrait I actually spent a lot of time on the composition because I was taking two different photos and putting them together and because of that and I was I was trying to do more than I would normally do for planning and composition because that's an area that I need to practice <laughs> so um, what I did for this one is I took the two photos and put them in Photoshop put them into several different compositions and then waited a couple days and did a few more compositions and then got the input of the client who wanted the commission. Then once I had the composition layout of just the reference photos, I did a thumbnail sketch of that just in Photoshop. Um, and I started with a black and white thumbnail sketch. So when I say th thumbnail sketch, what I mean is just a really small picture, no detail, we're just going for like, you know, the, the thing I always say, the basic color blocks or basic value blocks. And then once I had the values mapped out, the, the light and dark mapped out how I wanted it, then I put another layer over top of that thumbnail sketch and did the color. So the values stayed the same. This um, next thumbnail was just about finding the color. And I did probably like 20 or something different color variations in Photoshop until I landed on the one that I liked. And then after that, I printed it out for myself just so I had a, a map to go from. So I had the black and white value map. I had the color thumbnail, and then I had the original reference photos just so I could actually see the details. And I think it was actually really helpful, although it was different from how I normally work because what I usually do is I just put down whatever colors I have on the paper <laughs> and then you know as long as the the colors are harmonious with each other it doesn't really matter if it's the exact skin tone that's on the reference photo but for this it was a little bit more of a challenge because I had to match the colors I had in pastel to the colors I used on the computer <laughs> so a little bit different but anyway, I really liked how this turned out just because of how much time I spent in planning it. And I hope that's something that you take home with you for your future art projects. Planning. Spend the time doing the planning and you will like the results more than what you would like if you just jumped right in and started doing the painting. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.